With Office 365, you can provide your users with single sign-on access to Microsoft Exchange Online, Link Online, SharePoint Online, and Office 365 Pro Plus activation. This guide is the third in the series, Identity Management with Office 365. These four guides were designed to be taken in order, as they follow the prescribed process for configuring Active Directory Federation. In this guide, you'll see how to add a custom domain to Office 365, and then convert it to a federated domain. To navigate this guide, either click the prompts indicated. You'll begin from your organization's domain controller. From here, you'll install the Microsoft Online Services Sign-In Assistant. This is a prerequisite for the Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell, which you will install in the next task. Follow the prompts on the screen to get started. Select the highlighted file to run the Microsoft Online Services Sign-In Assistant Setup Wizard. The Microsoft Online Services Sign-In Assistant is now ready for use. Click Finish to close the setup wizard. Next, you'll see how to install and configure the Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. To get started, run the highlighted file and follow the prompts. Next, click Install. The Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell is now installed. Click Finish to exit the setup wizard. Next, you'll see how to associate your organization's domain with Office 365. You'll then convert it to a federated domain to enable single sign-on. To begin, log in to the Office 365 Admin Center. Enter your administrator credentials. From the Office 365 Admin Center, navigate to Domains and follow the prompts to continue. Enter your organization's domain name. Next, you'll need to confirm ownership of the domain. For the purposes of this guide, select General Instructions from the drop-down menu for the steps to follow to verify ownership. Before proceeding, make note of the text record's destination value. You'll need this value to add a DNS record for your domain. Switching to DNS Manager on your organization's Threat Management Gateway server, you'll now see how to create the new DNS record for your organization's domain. Follow the prompts to continue. In the Resource Record Type window, select Text, TXT, to associate descriptive text with the DNS domain name. Next, click Create Record. In the New Resource Record window, enter the text record value you noted earlier. Click Done to save this information and close the window. Next, switch back to the Office 365 Admin Center to finish verifying ownership of the domain. Follow the on-screen prompts to continue. In this guide, you'll complete only the first step listed for adding a domain to the service. Click Cancel to continue. As you can see, setup is in progress for the added domain. Minimize the window to continue. Next, you'll see how to convert the Office 365 standard domain you just added to a federated domain. To begin, open the Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. From here, you'll enter a series of commandlets to federate the newly added domain. This first commandlet will connect you to Microsoft Online Services. Press the Enter key on your keyboard to execute the commandlet. Enter your Office 365 Administrator credentials, and then click OK to continue. 
Next, you'll enter a commandlet that displays the status of the domains associated with Office 365. Press Enter to execute the commandlet. As you can see, the domain you created earlier in this guide is now associated with Office 365. This commandlet creates a context that connects you to the on-premises Active Directory Federation Services ADFS server. This commandlet will convert your Office 365 standard domain to a federated domain. Next, enter a command to display the federation properties for your domain. Review the federation settings that have been automatically configured by the previous commandlet. As you can see, the standard domain has been successfully converted to a federated domain. Close the window and follow the prompts to continue. Next, you'll review the status of the federated domain in the Office 365 Admin Center. To begin, navigate back to the Domains page of the Office 365 Admin Center. Next, select the newly federated domain and click View DNS Settings. As you can see, the domain is configured for single sign-on, indicating that the domain is currently federated. This guide, Adding and Verifying Federated Domains, is now complete. In this guide, you saw how to add a custom domain to Office 365 and then convert it to a federated domain. We encourage you to progress to the next guide in the series, Installing and Configuring Active Directory Synchronization.